So you might be in a situation where your 120 hertz display is not working on your Android phone. Now this can happen for a lot of different reasons. The very first reason you want to make sure, and to make sure this is not you know a problem for you, is to make sure your phone even supports 90 or 120 hertz in the first place. If your phone doesn't support 120 hertz, which not every phone does, that can probably be a problem. The Pixel 4a does not natively support 120 hertz or 90 hertz, so that's going to be basically the main problem for you. Now to see if your phone supports it, what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application of your Android phone, and you want to swipe down until you see the display option. So tap on the display, and then what you want to do there is where it says something like screen refresh rate or motion smoothness, find that particular display, and you want to basically go ahead and turn that motion smoothness all the way up to either 120 hertz or 90 hertz, or just turn it on. That's basically going to be the main way to go and fix this problem for a vast majority of people. Now, if that doesn't end up working, another thing you can try doing is making sure you don't have low power mode on. Some people may randomly have low power mode on, so what I'd recommend doing there is turning off low power mode, because that will also basically limit the amount your you know, refresh rate will go and be tuned up at. So make sure you do not have 90 hertz refresh rate, or make sure you don't have the low power mode option on, because that's also going to affect your particular phone. If that's still not working, you may want to try going through and actually restarting your device. So hold down the buttons you normally would to restart your phone. So I don't really know which ones it is on the pixels, so you can just hold down the side button up here. Go and click power off, and completely restart or power off that phone, and that might end up fixing the problem as well. If that's still not working, you may want to try updating your particular device. So go inside of your settings application of your Android phone and try updating your phone, and that could end up fixing the problem for you as well. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.